What's up, sports fans? Schultz's Card Pulls back with another hunt for retail sports cards. Another very successful one near me this week. Only went to three stores, but those were the only ones that restocked. So let's just show you exactly what I found first at this first Walmart I stopped at. Had been looking for Mosaic Basketball for about a week and thankfully saw it for the first time in the wild near me. Mosaic Basketball hangers and cellos was able to grab one of each. A couple of other random boxes, but not really much else other than Mosaic at that store, to be honest. But on the way out, I did see a ton of supplies. You see some one-touch bags, actual one-touches, and then a lot of sleeves and top loaders. So I was able to grab a few of those on the way out as well. Down the road, a Hobby Lobby near me, and I actually asked an associate if they had some basketball cards in stock. And check it out, you guys. Two boxes of optic basketball left. They were actually inside a glass display. They pulled them out for me, was able to get those as well as some more sleeves. Super excited to see some of that optic basketball. I could not believe I found optic and mosaic in the same week. So one more stop at another Walmart near me. And this had just been stocked as well. Behind the register there, they had those mosaic basketball blasters. So got those and some illusions football blasters. First time I'd seen those in the wild. So excited to take all this home. See if we can pull some fire here on Schultz's card pull. A few moments later. What a find this week. A couple of different stores carrying some of my favorite packs that are out right now. Optic basketball blaster box at Hobby Lobby. And then some mosaic basketball cellos. Coming our way at Walmart. You come to Walmart and you will just get hooked up. And stick around. I'll be giving away a couple of cards like I usually do in all my hunting videos here on Schultz's Card Pulls. All right, you guys. So a 12-card Mosaic Basketball Cello pack as well as some pink camos coming out of here. LaMelo Ball pink camo. Of course, that's what everybody's chasing. My luck, though, out of Mosaic has just been terrible. So let's see if we get a little bit of redemption here on this video right now for this hunt for retail sports cards. All right, guys, Davis Bertans. It looks like we've got a couple of greens back there. No, that is just the same card that looked like two. Uh, we might have like a green and a red as well. I can't quite tell. Let's just get back there and see. Davis Bertans, RJ Barrett, Malcolm Brogdon, LaMelo Ball, where are you? Kelly Olnick, Mason Plumley. There we go. Finally, you guys, we see one. Yes, yes. Yes, yes! Kevin Garnett, all-time greats card. Behind that, Devin Vassell for the Spurs. And then we've got a Jalen Smith. I saw the rookie, though. Not the right color. A Jalen Smith green hiding a Damian Lillard bang insert. Nice uh, big shot there over Paul George. He originally called a bad shot. Owned up, though, uh, to his original take. And then a will to win Anthony Davis. All right, the pink camos. Coming up next, guys, let's hope that this cello pack really contains some fire. LaMelo Ball base. How about a LaMelo Ball uh, pink camo? Doesn't look like we've got the right color there, guys. Let's see. A Vucevic, Oladipo, and an Obi Toppin. There we go. Seen a lot of Obi Toppins in my packs, but an Obi Toppin pink camo. Next. All right, let's hope this overpriced blaster box is fire here on Schultz's Card Pulls. Let me know with a comment below, you guys. Would you pay... $46 like I did for an optic basketball blaster. Would you pay 46 bucks like I did for an optic basketball blaster? So you got seven inserts or prism parallels per box on average. You can only pull numbered parallels out of the cellos and these blaster boxes coming out of retail. And you got a bunch of packs, you guys. 28 cards per box, seven packs per blaster box total. All right, let's go. See if we can pull some fire. My optic luck has been pretty decent, uh, but some more color would be amazing. Got our first rookie there, Lori Markkinen, Spencer Dimwitty, then a Saban Lee, you guys, a Saban Lee, but wow, that print is horrible. You can see how off-centered that is uh, with the outline of where his body with the ball is supposed to be. That is just terrible. Check that out. Anthony Hardaway and a totally misprinted Saban Lee. Yes, hello. Creed Brad, Quality Assurance, Dunder Mifflin Scranton. That's not a good sign. That's that's not a great sign. We've seen a lot of miscuts, a lot of misprints making their way out for Optic this year. Hopefully that's not the case of every single card. And look at that. And Isaiah Stort, you guys, it's like they ran the Pistons line of rookies into this blaster box and they're all the misprints. That's terrible. Isaiah Stort, Alfred Payton, and Kyle Lowry. I mean, maybe that means we've got some fire coming up. I don't know. I'll take a bunch of bunk rookies that are misprinted if it means we've got one card that's some fire in here. 
Uh, we do, guys. We do have a hollow back there. It is, I believe. I don't think that's purple. That might be blue. Praying it's an ant. Oh, my goodness. Guys, that might be Timberwolves colors. Ooh, let's go. Keldon Johnson. Dante DiVincenzo. We got a Peyton Pritchard. There we go. Gotta love Peyton, guys. Hoping that is a Timberwolves. Anthony Edwards. No, it is purple. It is a Robert Woodard. Oh, dang. I couldn't see the color correctly, and we just got trolled. But there we go. A hollow silver, you guys. Rated rookie of Robert Woodard. Meh. Our chance at a hollow rated rookie. Not coming up very strong there, guys. Cody Zeller. And let's see what's behind this. Hey, it's a base of Ant, but wow. The printing is terrible. Look at that, you guys. The body lines are just way off from the player himself. I cannot believe the Panini sent this out. And that, people, is what grinds my gears. So a Gordon Hayward and a Donovan Mitchell T-minus insert finishing up that pack. But dang, guys, that, that Anthony Edwards is so misprinted. Almost makes me want to reach out to Panini. Not like they're going to do anything about it, but uh, I don't know. We'll see if we can get some redemption from the last few cards in these packs. Lonnie Walker, Zion Williamson. Nope, this Cassius Stanley rookie. Check that out, you guys. That is misprinted as heck. And then a Tyler Bay... That is a purple, uh, rated rookie purple, but not really a player that is of note right now. Two packs to go from this Optic Basketball Cello pack. Their Optic Basketball Blaster Box has not been a fun rip so far. You guys have not seen any cards that haven't been misprinted. Oh, wow. RJ Hampton is way off. Porter Jr. And then a Damian Lillard, my house. Uh, we'll take that one. Maybe we'll get some last pack magic here, you guys. Nice cello pack. Got a Lamilla ball finally out of Mosaic, but woof. That ant is off. We'll see if we can catch some last pack magic. Doesn't look like it, you guys. Chris Middleton, LeBron James, Theo Maladin way off, and then a splash of Buddy Heald. You want to win, right? Let's pick out the Obi Toppin, the Robert Woodard, and the LaMelo Ball base cards. Here's what you guys do. If you want to win one of these three cards, you make sure you are subscribed to Schultz's Card Pulse. Smash the like button and the notification bell here on the channel. Make sure you're notified of all my latest rips and let me know in the comments which card that you would like to win. It is that simple. And also let me know, should I contact Panini? I mean, these are all terribly, terribly misprinted. Do you think they'd give me a replacement blaster box or are they just going to give me the middle finger? Let me know. And speaking of Panini, you guys, you should watch the video popping up on the screen right now. Click on it and hear me explain why I think the Fanatics takeover of the sports card hobby is a very good thing.